Good day everyone, this is Senior Pablo and welcome to Senior Pablo TV. Today we will be discussing rational exponents and radicals. So the relationship of rational exponents and radicals. We have the, the following definition. Definition of b raised to 1 over n. b raised to 1 over n. So notice that our exponent is in rational form, 1 over n, and b is our base. For a real number b and any positive integer n, wherein n is greater than or equal to 2, that means the value of our n is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, or greater than 2 b raised to 1 over n can be written as nth root of b. So nth root of b. Now, this is the our radical form. Except when a is less than 0 and n is even number. Second definition of b raised to m over n. So the difference between the two is, in our first definition, our numerator is 1. In this case, our numerator is any real number. So for any non-zero real number b, and m over n be a rational number with positive integer n, n again must be greater than or equal to 2 b raised to m over n, this will be the equivalent form in radical. nth root of b, close parenthesis, raised to m, and equal to nth root of b raised to m. These are the same. Except when b is less than 0 and n is even number. So, we're going to elaborate this using the following problems to better understand our definitions. Write each of the following as radicals. So we're going to use the following definition, b raised to 1 over n, that is equal to n root of b. And the other one is b raised to m over n, and that is equal to Quantity nth root of b raised to m or nth root of b raised to m. Right into radical form. So notice that our denominator is the index. So that is equal to nth root of b cubed. Or in other form, also equal to, let's use or. Quantity B cubed, uh, quantity nth root of B raised to 3. The two are the same. The other one, we have 4 as denominator, so 4th root of x cubed y squared. Next, we have 2, so square root, we have 2 here, but it is understood that the equivalent of our index here is 2. So, a raised to 5, b cubed. In number 4, let us apply our laws of exponent. So, here we have m 2 times 1 that is 2 over 4 we have 1 hat and n raised to 2 times uh, n raised to 1 over 4 now if we want to have the same denominator so we can write this as 2 over 4 
write into radical form, that is fourth root of m square m. Next, so we have square root of a raised to 6, b raised to 3. That is on how to write expression with rational exponent and going to our radical form. In these exercises, you're going to write the expression with rational exponent given the radical expression. So we have here, that is a, our base, to our exponent over our index is 3. Next, quantity a minus b, the expression inside our radical sign, our exponent numerator will be 4 over index 3. Base x 101 over understood that we have the index of 2 here. And in number 4, xy, then we have 21 over 9. And number 5, we have A squared B cube C raised to 4. This will be our denominator. It will be equal to 1 over 5. Or if you want, you can write that as loss of exponent. So A, 2 times 1, that is 2 over 5. B, 3 times 1, 3 over 5. And C, 4 times 1, 4 over 5. Okay. That will be the expression with the rational exponent. Your final answer. Our next lesson is the laws of radicals. You will understand this in our next lesson. This will be just the introduction of our topic. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo. See you in our next video.